We've discussed this time the small topic, but yet important of trigeminal neuralgia. Okay. Uh, what are the other names for this condition? Number one, it can be tic douloureux, or it can also be suicide disease. Now let's delve into this. Okay. So there are certain important features, like it's more common in females. Okay. Now let's look at the various features at which age group and which uh, gender and all that, you know, epidemiological factors. Females are involved more than males. It's idiopathic. Age, it usually starts 50. Most common presentation is at 50 years of age. Uh, there can be certain etiology. For example, the compression of the trigeminal nuclei. The nuclei is getting compressed. The nuclei is getting compressed because of the pressure acting. This pressure is coming maybe from a space occupying lesion or from the aberrant loop of the artery. So this characteristically is in the form of neurovascular compression. Why? Because the nerve nuclei is getting compressed and that is also causing the ischemia. means even the vas vascular supply is getting compromised. So it is a neurovascular compression because of SOL or aberrant loop. Clinical feature, the most important is pain and the second will be a few autonomic symptoms. So main, we have to keep our highlight on pain. So this pain, it is actually... Uh, Paroxysmal happens all of a sudden, but it is yeah, a paroxysmal, but it does have certain triggering factors such as talking. Obviously, the person cannot sit like dumb, you know, he will talk, of course. So, such basic things like talking, chewing, smiling, brushing, grimacing, and even by a current of cold air. So, it's very difficult to avoid these factors. So, therefore, it is paroxysmal all of a sudden, abruptly, it will happen. Now, the characteristic of pain is very important. It is a sharp stabbing pain. It is a sharp stabbing pain. Uh, sometimes also said like the pain of an electric shock. Okay. Uh, it's a superficial pain. Does not mean it's not a very deep or muscular pain. A very superficial pain along the distribution of the fifth nerve. The most commonly fifth nerve also. Which parts of the fifth nerve most commonly? The 5-2 and 5-3. That means the maxillary and mandibular division. The pain usually occurs in this mandibular and maxillary division of the fifth nerve. The maximal at onset. The pain is maximum at the onset. Sometimes it's so severe that the facial muscles may undergo spasm. The duration may last from a few seconds even as low as one second up to several seconds. Typically unilateral and unilateral also this question has been asked that right side more as compared to the left You can just remember, you know, like like a right hand the right foot We make more use of usually most people are right-handed. So like that remember that we make a lot of use of our right side So these symptoms will be more predominantly seen in the right side uh, so we discussed that the more common sites will be the maxillary and mandibular division. That means if you try to see this, 5, 2 and 5, 3, the maxillary and the mandibular division, they will be more involved. The pain will be usually in this lower and middle part of the face because one is the outer canthus of the eye and one here is the angle of the lip. So this is how you divide. It means above this angle, above the outer canthus and between the outer canthus and angle of the lip or angle of the mouth. Uh, that is 5, 2 and below that is the 5, 3. So here are mainly 5, 2 and 5, 3 are involved, mind you. Okay. Now the second thing will be autonomic symptoms. It's because of 5, 1 division. So this is a very important and confusing point that if the person will have sometimes autonomic features, ANS related, then they will be because of involvement of 5, 1 division. But pain is always involving usually 5, 2 and 5, 3. Autonomic signs and symptoms are usually associated with 5, 1 division involvement. For example, means they will be mainly seen in the eyes of course in the upper part of their face, eyes and all. So there will be increased lacrimation, conjunctival conjunctival congestion may be their rhinorrhea so you know increased secretions in the form of lacrimation conjunctival congestion and rhinorrhea the diagnosis is usually clinical but for ruling out space or occupying lesion you should go for certain imaging studies the treatment of is obviously most of the times first we have to start with a pharmacotherapy various drugs we start with a carb amazing means it's amazing like trigeminal neuralgia suicide disease you know like amazing huh actually that's not that amazing and fun for the patient not at all so carbamazepine if not responding then give ox carb after that 
maybe the person is not accepting these drugs or it he's tolerant or contraindication is there so give baclofen or lamotrigine baclofen or lamotrigine so the first choice has to be amazing drugs like carbamazepine ox and later you can give other drugs if they are not working well for example baclofen and lamotrigine if still not happening that it's not controlling the person is still having severe pain you have to go for an mdp that is microvascular decompression procedure the small small vessels right the small vessels are getting the blood supplies compromised the nuclei of the nerve is getting compressed the neurovascular compression is occurring so microvascular decompression because compression is etiology so microvascular decompression procedure and other alternatives even if after this it is not responding completely then you can go for a rhizotomy means just chop the root of the fifth nerve uh, and this rhizotomy can be done with the help of a radio surgery or through a radio frequency ablation method so radio surgery or radio frequency ablation method rhizotomy that is the last salvage thing that we can do if nothing is happening all the drugs we have given we have gone for an mdp then the last alternative is rhizotomy the chopping off of the root so that was all for this lecture of uh, tick dolero or trigeminal neuralgia Thanks a lot for watching. Please do like, subscribe, share and comment.